cities in our All right, town. we've been listening to Two RFK Jr. and former President Donald Trump speaking at a campaign rally in Glendale, Arizona. The former independent presidential candidate endorsed Trump earlier today after dropping out of the race. Now, a quick reset. Well, hello, everyone. I'm Lana Zak. Welcome to The Weekender. We begin with the race for the White House. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. receiving big cheers from the MAGA crowd as he joined Donald Trump at a campaign rally in the battleground state of Arizona Friday, hours after suspending his campaign and endorsing the former president. But he is a phenomenal person, a phenomenal man who loves the people of this country as much as anybody can love the people of this country. So, Bobby, please say a few words. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris used her nomination acceptance speech Thursday night to go after her opponent, warning voters about what she called the consequences of putting Trump back in the White House. Just imagine Donald Trump with no guardrails. And how he would use the immense powers of the presidency of the United States. Not to improve your life, not to strengthen our national security, but to serve the only client he has ever had, himself. All right, I want to bring in now CBS political correspondent Caitlin Huey Burns. She's traveling with the Trump campaign in Glendale, Arizona, there at the event. Uh, so, Caitlin, Trump has in the past criticized RFK Jr., but he brought him out with literal pyrotechnics and huge applause from the MAGA crowd. How are they playing this endorsement now? Yeah, Lana, it's pretty remarkable. I don't think I ever expected Bobby Kennedy, RFK Jr.'s father, to get a shout-out from Donald Trump at a Donald Trump rally, but that is the year we are in in 2024. Uh, the big question is how this endorsement could change the state of the race. And this is how the Trump campaign sees it. They believe that in places like Arizona, where we are now, where Trump lost by just under 11,000 votes, uh, this endorsement could make the difference here. Now, our polling, CBS News polling, shows that nationally, RFK Jr. was getting about 2% of the vote. So it's not clear, according to our polling, where his voters will go. And I can say, anecdotally, having covered this campaign, uh, traveled across the country talking to voters, I talked to people supporting RFK Jr. who were Democrats, who were Republicans, or just kind of disaffected by politics in general. So we're waiting to see kind of how the polling shakes out. But it's clear by this campaign statement here tonight that the Trump team thinks this is something that could help them. You also have to remember that the Trump campaign has seen this race tighten significantly. This is not the race they planned for. This has changed significantly since Kamala Harris entered the race. And so this is a campaign having to essentially play a little catch up. And Caitlin, as you mentioned, the Democratic legacy of the Kennedy family uh, and, and the surprise uh, for anybody who had on their bingo card Donald Trump talking about Bobby Kennedy, his father, uh, at one of these events. Something that the former president announced here uh, was that, um, that he would create a new presidential initiative about assassination attempts and release all the information about the assassination of President Kennedy. We heard him talking about how important it was to him to hear from RFK Jr. Uh, on the eve of that attempted assassination uh, that took place in Butler, Pennsylvania. And, and it seemed like that was something that was really important um, in the among the crowd there. The crowd really appreciated it. Do you know anything more about the behind-the-scenes wrangling? Because we know that other members of the Kennedy family, including RFK Jr.'s wife, Cheryl, are not pleased necessarily about this endorsement. Yeah, they, they kind of talked about it a little bit on stage behind me. The idea that RFK Jr. reached out to Donald Trump after the assassination attempt, that started to kind of uh, inspire these conversations. And Trump has been asked kind of repeatedly throughout the week, excuse the, uh, the noise behind me, Trump has been asked throughout the week if RFK Jr. would 
have a role in his administration, and he said he'd consider it. So we'll kind of see whether and how he campaigns for him across the state. But you mentioned the Kennedy family. A, a few months ago, several, many members of the Kennedy family had an event with Joe Biden endorsing him as if to show this separation uh, uh, between them and RFK Jr. And today, several of RFK Jr.'s siblings released a statement uh, expressing their displeasure of their brother endorsing Donald Trump, saying that it is not in line with their father's or their family's values. All right. At an election in which there have been so many dramatic twists and turns, this is just the latest iteration. Glad to have you with us to help us understand the context of it better. Caitlin Huey Burns, thank you. For more now, I want to bring in CBS News political reporter Aaron Navarro. He's there in Chicago and has been attending all these events. So, Aaron, let's start off with the big news. How is the Harris campaign reacting to the news about RFK Jr. endorsing Trump? Well, good to be with you. Interesting.